Hi, in this video I will show how to use an uh, uh, application for converting ACS files to JavaScript uh, with preserving all data from ACS file. On my computer you can see I have ICS file, I can open it with notepad just to show you what is inside of this note, uh, ICS file. It's standard with calendar uh, formatting. I can also, um, I have an ICS view where it's free app, it's showing what is inside of ICS. You can see event, name, start, date, time and time description. And this application now can also export into different uh, format. I can also open it in Windows Calendar just to show you how the Windows Calendar are showing it. It's like um, event, description, um, location, conference room, uh, date, beginning, end, and time. So I will convert this ACS file to JavaScript so I can use it for my web application and I can use data into this. Uh, uh, <clears throat> ACS from from this ACS and apply some additional logics to display it on a website or add it to a website. In order to do this, I will download application from my website. This is my website. To find application, I'll type click on search and type ACS, and I need this one convert ACS file, and I will click on ACS to JavaScript and click on load to start downloading process and wait until archive with application will be downloaded. Click on the loaded archive, double click on the Messiah inside archive to start the installation. Click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown publisher. So I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click on finish on final screen. And you can see application has been installed on my computer. Have a new shortcut on my desktop. So I can close this and this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Conversion is three steps process. I'll click uh, first step, step one, we will select ICS file. I'll click to select input file, navigate to my ICS, click on open, click on uh, after files, file has been selected, I can click on next step. I can also select multiple file if I want to um, convert multiple uh, ICS files into one uh, JavaScript data set. So, uh, right now I just click next step, there are no conversion options here yet, just next step and here on final step I can preview um, JavaScript or I can save it. You can see it has all data in it, so I can save result and <clears throat> I prepared um, I prepared test HTML, I can uh, show you. So it, it has a um, JavaScript file, an HTML file, and yeah, it's our JS test. Document, our JS test. So I will save it close to with HTML and show you how I can use this JavaScript dataset um, from website, basically. So let's override it. I save it as test.js and if I open it with notepad just to show you what is inside, you can see it has like my data array with data structure and everything in, in it. So let me show you how I can use it into, um, let's open it with maybe notepad plus just to show what is inside. And you can see we are importing test.js. Now we can do Data, we can do then we can do events. Oh, let's open it into Firefox. And I will click F12. And here I can do my data, right? Dot events. Oh, data. And then let's do zero. And then I can do event name <coughs> just to show you. It's same event. Yep. So if I copy this, my data data is zero. So basically, my data is like one array into JavaScript. We you, we can change it to any name we want. And 
Let's edit. So here we can do like this and do event name and refresh. And you can see it's we have access to event uh, names for first event. And basically this JavaScript I can I can access and any event like this my data data and uh, then because it's array I can access that, for example second element and click on start date time start date time and you can see start date time is displayed here. So yeah, basically we converted our ICS into JavaScript data structure and we access the JavaScript data structure from HTML. And basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.